I was at the supermarket today and ran into Shirley. You remember Shirley from church? She told me there was a sale on ground meat. Can you believe they marked it down to 93 cents a pound? Every summer for as long as she could remember, Viva and her mom traveled to New Orleans together to visit Viva's grandmother, or Graham. This summer, Viva wouldn't have her mom to laugh at Graham's quirks with. Graham was unique. Graham? What is it? I'm reading this crazy article. Man claims Miss Mary Mack is really a treasure map. Of all the controversies that arouse people against me or for me, none would have the effect on my life or change the climate around me like the poem I read on a TV hookup one warm February afternoon in Miami, 1966. I was training and looking forward to my third defense of the world heavyweight title, this time against six foot six Ernie the Octopus Terrell, so named because he wrapped his long arms like tentacles around his opponents. In 1995, I took a sabbatical. For 12 months, I essentially did nothing. It was the most spiritually inspiring time of my life. Pretty much all I did was relax. I read and hiked and slept. I cooked and ate, meditated and wrote. I had no schedule, no agenda, and no shoulds. When I was a regular child, I lived in Kigali, Rwanda, and I was a precocious snoop. My nickname was Cassette. I repeated everything I saw or heard, including that my sister Claire, who was nine years older than me, wore shorts under her skirt and played soccer instead of doing family errands after school. Harry quickly looked down again as Professor McGonagall silently placed a four-legged stool in front of the first years. On top of the stool, she put a pointed wizard's hat. For a few seconds, there was complete silence. And then the hat twitched. A rip near the brim opened wide like a mouth, and the hat began to sing. Oh, you may not think I'm pretty, but don't judge on what you see. I'll eat myself if you can find a smarter hat than me. You can keep your bowlers black, your top hat sleek and tall, for I'm the Hogwarts sorting hat, and I can cap them all. The women pushed the door open and stormed into the inner office. Vinny shrieked and tried to scramble around his desk, but the bookie grabbed him. I haven't got any money, Vinny said. I swear to God, I'll pay you when I get some money. In a very ladylike fashion, the bookie wrapped her hands around Vinny's ankles and effortlessly held him upside down, about a foot off the floor. Imagine you're traveling through Europe in the 1980s. You enter a small town in the German state of Bavaria called Herzogenaurach. As you walk along, you see all the typical small-town European sites you love so much. Restaurants, shops, gardens, cobblestone streets, etc. After a while, you get hungry and you walk into a deli. You're about to order a sandwich. The couple behind the counter look down at your shoes. They look at each other, clearly annoyed. The man says, perhaps you should go to the deli across the river. You look down at your feet, momentarily afraid you were tracking mud into their shop. But that's not it. Your white Adidas still look brand new. 